नमस्कार जय श्री कृष्ण इल्यूमिनेटिंग टेक्स्ट नाइन एंड टेक्स्ट टेन ऑफ चैप्टर वन द फर्स्ट स्टेप इन गॉड रियलाइजेशन ऑफ सेकंड कैंट ऑफ द कॉस्मिक मैनिफेस्टेशन ऑफ श्रीमद भागवत टेक्स्ट नाइन परिनिष्ठी तो अपी नैर्गुण्य उत्तम श्लोक लीलया गृहित चेता राजर्षे आख्यानम यदधित्वान ओ सेंटली किंग्स आई वॉज सर्टनली सिचुएटेड परफेक्टली इन ट्रांसेंडेंस Yet I was still attracted by the delineation of the past tense of the Lord, who is described by enlightened verses. The absolute truth is realized as the impersonal Brahma at the first instance by philosophical speculation, and later as the super soul by further progress of transcendental knowledge. But if by the grace of the Lord, an impersonalist. is enlightened by the superior statements of shrimad bhagavatam he is also converted into a transcendental devotee of the personality of godhead with a poor fund of knowledge we cannot adjust to the idea of the personality of the absolute truth and the personal activities of the lord are deplored by the less intelligent impersonalists but reasons and arguments together with the transcendental process of approaching the absolute truth help even the staunch impersonalist to become attracted by the personal activities of the lord a person like shubhyo goswami cannot be attracted by any mundane activity but when such a devotee is convinced by a superior method he is certainly attracted by the transcendental activities of the lord the lord is transcendental as are his activities he is neither inactive nor impersonal text 10 tada ham te abhi dhasyami mahapaurushiko भवान यस्य श्रद्ध तामाशु स्यान मुकुंदे मती ह सती दैट वेरी श्रीमद भागवतम आई शैल रिसाइड बिफोर यू बिकॉज यू आर द मोस्ट सिंसियर डिवोटी ऑफ लॉर्ड कृष्ण वन हु गिव्स फुल अटेंशन एंड रिस्पेक्ट टू यरिंग श्रीमद भागवतम अचीव्स अनफ्लिंचिंग फेथ इन द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड द गिवर ऑफ सैल्वेशन श्रीमद भागवतम इज रेकग्नाइज वैदिक विजडम and the system of receiving vedic knowledge is called avaroha pantha or the process of receiving transcendental knowledge through bona fide disciplic succession for advancement of material knowledge there is a need for personal ability and researching aptitude but in the case of spiritual knowledge all progress depends more or less on the mercy of the spiritual master the spiritual master must be satisfied with the disciple only then is knowledge automatically manifest before the student of spiritual science the process should not however be misunderstood to be something like magical feats whereby the spiritual master acts like a magician and injects spiritual knowledge into his disciple as if surcharging him with an electric current the bona fide spiritual master reasonably explains everything to the disciple on the authorities of vedic wisdom the disciple can receive such teachings not exactly intellectually but by submissive inquiries and a service attitude The idea is that both the spiritual master and the disciple must be bona fide. In this case, the spiritual master Shubhdeo Goswami is ready to recite exactly what he has learned from his great father Sri Ravyas Dev, and the disciple Maharaj Parikshit is a great devotee of Lord Krishna. A devotee of Lord Krishna is he who believes sincerely that by becoming a devotee of the Lord, one becomes fully equipped with everything spiritual. This teaching is imparted by the Lord Himself in the pages of the Bhagavad Gita, in which it is clearly described that the Lord Sri Krishna is everything and that to surrender unto him solely and wholly makes one the most perfectly pious man this unflinching faith in lord krishna prepares one to become a student of shrimad bhagavatam and anyone who hears shrimad bhagavatam from a devotee like shubhdeo goswami is sure to attain salvation at the end as maharaj parikshit did the professional reciter of shrimad bhagavatam and the pseudo devotees whose faith is based on one week's hearing are different from shubhdeo goswami and maharaj parikshit Shrila Vyas Dev explained Shri Mad Bhagavatam unto Shubhdeo Goswami from the very beginning of the Janmadhi Asya verse, and so Shubhdeo Goswami also explained it to the king. Lord Krishna is described as the Mahapurush in the Shri Mad Bhagavatam, Canto eleven. In his devotional feature as Lord Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the Lord Krishna himself in his devotional attitude descended on earth to bestow. special favors upon the fallen souls of this age of kali there are two verses particularly suitable to offer as prayers to this mahapurush feature of lord krishna dhayam sada paribhavagnam abhista doham tirthaspadam 
शिव विरिंची नूतम शरण्यम भृत्यार्ती हम प्रणत्पाल भवाद्भीपोतम वंदे महापुरुष दे चरणारविंदम त्यक्वा सुदुस्त्यज सुरेपसित राज्य लक्ष्मी धर्मिष्ठा आर्य वचश यद अगाध अरण्यम माया मृगम दयित येपसित अन्वधावद वंदे महापुरुष ते चरणारविंदम भागवतम इलेवन पॉइंट फाइव पॉइंट थर्टी थ्री एंड थर्टी फोर इन अदर वर्ड्स पुरुष मीन्स द एन्जॉयर एंड महापुरुष मीन्स द सुप्रीम एन्जॉयर और द सुप्रीम पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ गॉड श्री कृष्ण वन हू डिजर्व टू अप्रोच द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड श्री कृष्ण इज कॉल्ड द महापौरुषिक एनी वन हू यर्स श्रीमद भागवतम अटेंटिवली फ्रॉम अ बोनाफाइड रिसाइटर इज श्योर टू बिकम सिंसियर डिवोटी ऑफ द लॉर्ड हू इज एबल टू अवॉर्ड लिबरेशन देर वॉज नन सो अटेंटिव एज महाराज परीक्षित इन द मैटर ऑफ हियरिंग श्रीमद भागवतम एंड देर वॉज नन सो क्वालिफाइड एज शुभदेव गोस्वामी टू रिसाइड द टेक्स्ट ऑफ श्रीमद भागवतम देर फोर एनी वन फॉलोज इन द फुट स्टेप्स ऑफ आयदर द आइडियल रिसाइटर और द आइडियल हियर शुभदेव गोस्वामी एंड महाराज परीक्षित रिस्पेक्टिव इवन अनडाउटेडली अटेन सेल्वेशन लाइक देम महाराज परीक्षित अटेन सेल्वेशन बाय हियरिंग ओनली एंड शुभदेव गोस्वामी अटेन सेल्वेशन ओनली बाय रिसाइटिंग रिसाइटेशन एंड हियरिंग आर टू प्रोसेस आउट ऑफ नाइन डिवोशनल एक्टिविटीज एंड बाई स्टेन्यूसली फॉलोइंग द प्रिंसिपल्स आइदर इन ऑल और बाई पार्ट वन कैन अटेन द एब्सल्यूट प्लेन so the complete text of shrimad bhagavatam beginning from the janmadi asya verse up to the last one in the 10th 12th canto which was spoken by shukdev goswami for the attainment of salvation by maharaj parikshit in the padma puran it is mentioned that gautam muni advised maharaj ambarish to hear regularly shrimad bhagavatam as it was spoken by shukdev goswami and here it is confirmed that maharaj ambarish heard shrimad bhagavatam from the very beginning to the end as it was spoken by shukdev goswami one who is actually interested in the bhagavatam therefore must not play with it by reading or hearing a portion from here and a portion from there one must follow in the footsteps of great kings like maharaj ambarish and maharaj parikshit and hear it from a bona fide representative of shukdev goswami hari krishna